guys welcome back welcome back to back to my youtube channel so thank you very much guys for subscribing to my channel so today's lesson is on gamma function now gamma function is actually very 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 simple topic um but um it's actually short form for solving complex integration by part question now what am i trying to say is that we employ gamma function when we are given a very difficult or maybe cumbersome integration by part question for example find the um or we are to integrate x raised power to exponential minus x dx right now given this function um we can actually solve this using integration by part when we just say u is equal to x raised power 2 and dv is equal to x raised power minus x very easy to solve now but when we are given when we are asked to find the integration and um, the um, or we have to integrate x raised power 100 exponential minus and you see that this becomes very difficult you can actually start solving this using integration by part but as we go along the way it becomes very difficult and very cumbersome to solve so that's where we employ the gamma function so before we proceed what does gamma function represent now we use the symbol we use the symbol to represent gamma function so now gamma function Now, gamma function is defined by the integral, for example, gamma function of um, n is defined by the integral 0, coming from 0 to infinity of um, x raised to the power n minus 1 exponential minus x dx. So, this is the representation of gamma function. Now, very soon you will really understand where I'm driving to at this formula. So, what I'm trying to say is that this is the representation of gamma function. Now, very soon you will really understand where I'm driving to at this formula. So, what I'm trying to say is that we want to deduce a formula that we can actually use to solve this complex integration by part question. So now, before we deduce that formula, now we can deduce that formula from gamma function. Now, where n is greater than 0. So, n can be as much as, n can be a very high value or as much as any, high, any the length of which you want to put it to. So, now before we proceed, now let, let's, let's, let's solve this. Now, if I say gamma function of n plus 1, right? Now, replacing n with n plus 1, this gives me integral Coming from 0 to infinity of x raised power n exponential minus x dx, right? Now, if you look at these two integral, they are actually the same. These two integral, they are actually the same. So now, let's proceed. We want to deduce a formula that we can actually use to solve this in a very easy and simple step. So, now let's solve this using integration by part remember we are trying to deduce a formula that we can actually use to solve this now let's solve now let's solve this function using integration by part by saying let u be equal to x raised power n and let the v be equal to x raised power minus x now du dx is equal to n x raised power n minus 1 right and if i choose to integrate this this is v equals minus exponential minus x right and integration by part says that the integral u dv is equal to uv minus v du right so now let's put this here my u is x raised to the power n times my v which is minus x raised to the power minus x minus integral my v which is minus exponential minus x and my du which is making du subject of formula here this gives me um, n x raised power n minus 1 dx so now let's simplify this this gives me minus x raised power n exponential minus x plus integral exponential minus x n x raised power n minus 1 remember there's a limiting remember there are limiting values and those limiting values are said from 0 to infinity right so i'm going to put my limiting value 0 to infinity remember this is still an integral so we just put it here 0 to infinity right so we're going to simplify this because this becomes this looks more easier to simplify so now when i 
insert infinity that is taking x for infinity insert infinity to this point so exponential of infinity is zero so this becomes zero so this is zero minus if i insert zero here zero to x this this becomes what zero zero times zero is actually zero so this becomes zero plus the integral comes from zero to infinity exponential minus x and x to the power n minus one dx so simplifying this this gives me zero plus that is taking n to the back of the integral sign this is m integral zero to infinity x to the power n minus one exponential minus x dx remember this we started integrating from the gamma function of n plus one so we've, we said okay gamma function of n plus one is equal to this right so this gives me gamma function of n plus one equals n integral zero to infinity x to the power n minus one exponential minus x dx now you might be asking what is the reason for me proving all these formulas and formulas and formulas now i'm trying like i said i'm trying to deduce a particular formula that can help me solve a certain amount of complex integration by part question so now i want you to follow me step by step you really understand where i'm driving to now if you look at this formula that we just derived this particular formula right here that we just derived if you look at this particular formula that we just derived if you look at the app the first representation of like you no know, this is the gamma this is the formula for gamma now these are both formulas for gamma function remember we i just said let n be equal to n plus one and this gives me this this you can actually use this for these are both formulas for gamma um representation for gamma function but this if you look at this particular integral when i solve this using integration by parts i'm getting this particular integral here right i'm getting this particular integral here and since this particular integral is equal to the gamma function of n that means gamma function of n plus one gamma function of n plus one equals n then substituting this substituting this substituting this will be i'll be having gamma function of n plus one will be equal to n times gamma function of n right so now this is one formula that we can actually use to solve this now successfully deduce that gamma function of n plus one is equal to n times gamma function of n now we i elect like call this formula one because there are so many formula for, for gamma function so you might be asking how am i going to use this particular formula now, now that we just proved to solve that integration by part question now this becomes very very simple remember we said gamma function of n is equal to integral right the integral coming from zero to infinity x to the power n minus one exponential minus x dx right this is what i said gamma function is so now and we said gamma function of n plus one is equal to integral coming from zero to infinity just replace n plus n with n plus one or just add one plus one to this plus one to this then gives this giving um, x to the power n exponential minus x dx so remember and we the formal the, the initial question i gave you was find the integration um, solve um x to the power solve the, that solve the integral from x to the power m of times x the integral of x to the power 100 um times exponential power minus x dx now gamma function should should and should always come from zero to infinity now if there's no zero to infinity you can actually solve it using gamma function so the mistake actually made i would have um, put the zero to infinity at the beginning of the question so like i said gamma function must you, know, you can only apply gamma function when zero comes from zero to infinity so now we can actually apply gamma function to this now remember if i decide to solve this normally using integration by parts and then finding my limited value is going to be give me a very long app or very long question uh, sorry a very long um solution so now but i can actually use this formula to get my gamma function now this i can assume let this be n right let this be n so n here if i compare this to this n is equal to 100 right so this gives me that means if this is n that means gamma function of 
100 plus 1 is equal to integral of 0 to infinity x raised to power 100 exponential minus x dx right if i compare these two so these two um integral n is equal to 100 right and since n equal to 100 n is equal to 100 so gamma function in between n here so gamma function of 100 plus 1 is actually giving me this integral right so now what is the solution for this integral so the solution for this integral from the formula that we just proved that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n times gamma of gamma of n so this gives me 100 times gamma of 100 so at this first stage of um, gamma function we can actually leave us our answers this so on our next video we are going to progress into another formula or another solution to gamma function like i said there are different solutions to gamma function on our next video we'll be looking at another solution to gamma function so thank you guys for watching and please and please subscribe